Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a very easy way that I have found to record a multi-track podcast on your computer. Hope you enjoy. So a little while ago, I posted a video about how to record using GarageBand, a podcast through Skype. Um, I host a podcast and I also co-host a podcast and I have always recorded them through GarageBand um, using a couple of tools, LineIn, Soundflower, um, and it always works really well for me, but I made a video explaining this method and it didn't, it stopped working basically. I think they've updated some of the programs or stopped updating them and the new version doesn't really work as well. So here's an easy method that I found. Okay, so for this, you're gonna need a piece of software called ScreenFlow. Um, unfortunately, this is only available on the Mac, but I can't recommend ScreenFlow enough. I use it for so, so many of my videos. Um, I particularly like it. Uh, it's, it's made to capture the screen, obviously, and the audio and the computer sound, but I actually edit my videos in it, um, a lot of them anyway, because it's just so much faster and easier than using Final Cut Pro X or Adobe Premiere, so I have a soft spot in my heart for ScreenFlow. Um, but anyway, it's available only on Mac, and you can get it from telestream.net. Um, check out their products and ScreenFlow. Now, I am i haven't tested it myself, but because I have the full version already, but I'm pretty sure you can do this, um, providing you're doing an audio podcast, I'm pretty sure you can do this entirely on the trial version, in which case this me method would be free. Um, regardless, download the trial and give it a try. Um, if you're doing a video podcast, you will need the full version. Um, but anyway, give it a try. I'm pretty sure the only thing about the trial that's different is that it has a big watermark across it. So if you're doing it for the audio, um, I don't think it's gonna give you any dramas. But anyway, download the trial um, or buy it if you choose. Um, personally, I really love it. I'll leave a link down in the description to ScreenFlow. Um, I think they have an affiliate program. If they do, I'll put a little link and that means if you do choose to buy it, I'll probably get a little kickback from that. So. Do that if you decide to get it. But anyway, once you've downloaded it, you can um, open it up. I've got a new document here and I'm gonna do a new recording. So in this little configuration window, I'm going to record desktop from the iMac. Obviously that's where it's gonna record the video. I'm not gonna record my own webcam. Um, you could easily do that. That would probably make the process a bit easier. Um, in terms of video editing, but for quality's sake, I'm already recording this on my Canon G7X. So that's that's what I would recommend, record the video um, externally, but if you wanna record it from Skype, um, that's totally fine as well. Um, the most important part though, is I'm recording audio from the AT2020 USB. Um, the best thing about it, it's a USB microphone, plug it straight into the computer, don't need a mixer, don't need any sort of DAW, digital audio, Workspace, I think, is the acronym. Um, so I don't even need to use GarageBand or anything. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and click record. So it's gonna take a couple seconds to start up, at which point I'm going to open Skype. And... Okay, so my computer decided to shit itself because I'm recording the screen and the audio in QuickTime and ScreenFlow at the same time. But anyway, here's one that I prepared earlier. Once you configure that recording, you hit record and then you open up Skype and do your Skype conversation as normal. So here's one that I did uh, during the week with my buddy Jeremy. As you can see in the audio tracks here, oops. As you can see in the audio tracks here, um, my audio track is this one, AT2020 USB, and it's much more quiet than his. The waveform is much smaller. So the beauty about having the two audio tracks is I can easily grab this one and in the little audio tab, I can boost that up like I have. It starts at 100, I've boosted it up, you know, 30, 40%, um, and that'll slowly render, and that'll make my volume close to his. Um, you can see Jeremy's is, uh, it's actually clipping a little bit here in the red, in the red parts, but that's easily easy to drop it down. Um, I think the reason it's so loud is because Skype has its own audio settings. It has like its own sort of like um, preamp, plug-in or processing or whatever it is. So it usually comes through really loud on Skype. 
Um, but anyway, I'll play it for you quickly. I have to say you are probably the first listener and probably my only listener for a while. <laughs> I don't know about only, but I was first. I remember buff. I remember hearing. So as you see, I've got Jeremy on the screen here. Um, I'm this little box down here. I could change it if I wanted to, to make side by side. So Jeremy was on one side and I was on the other. Um, but I purely wanted this to crop this screen and put it next to my own camera footage. And I'll show you how I've done that now as an example. As it was made out. I know you said um, you tried to find some of the so basically this is on the left recorded from my camera this is recorded from Jeremy's camera on the right um, you don't have to do that especially if you're doing audio you can just literally you can click this track and you can click detach audio then you've got two delete that you've got two audio files here synced up ready to go there it is so all you need to do when you're done when you're done editing or um, processing your audio all you need to do is click File, Export, uh, Customize, and then you untick the video, and then you can only export the audio. Um, otherwise, you can do the video, you can do a side-by-side, -side, you can do a video podcast. Um, it's super, super easy. I think I'm gonna be using this method from now on. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.